hormones. I might have to get Justin to take me out in some Dollar Tree makeup. It turns out looking cute. Justin gonna have to take me out for some Yogli Mowgli. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased a full face of makeup with Dollar Tree products. The one thing I did not get was a setting spray. So I am gonna use my little NYX setting spray, but other than that, everything is coming from my trip to the Dollar Tree. We're gonna see how this makeup plays out and hopefully it doesn't break my skin out. I am not a snob. If something works really well, I I really don't give a damn that it comes from the Dollar Tree. If it fits, it ships. If something from the Dollar Tree works, I will continue to use it. Now, if it's trash, then it will go in the trash. This might be a new way to do your makeup and make it affordable because a lot of these makeups that's out there right now are just so freaking expensive. It's literally ridiculous. <laughs> it's nice to know that there are options. Just because you live in a certain price point doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to get glammed up and feel pretty. Those are all my little goodies. I really want all these products to work very well because then that means makeup is not gatekeep behind a price. First, we are going to start off with this essentially ageless blur face primer. This is what it's looking like. Now, I was inspired to do this video by watching a video from Tati. I actually don't watch too many of her videos, but this one kind of caught my eye. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Start off with a little bit of primer. Can't really say much about a primer to be honest until you do a wear test. Looks okay, feels okay. My skin doesn't feel crazy. No itching, that's a good sign. I am going to do some powder on my face cause I am a little bit oily and I wanna give this makeup the best chance that I can give it. I'm using the pressed powder, it's LA Colors. This is what this is looking like. There really aren't that many shade ranges. They literally have three and the dark one isn't really that dark and the light one isn't really that light. Not as inclusive as it could be. They did have a color that I I think will hopefully look good on my skin. I don't know for sure. I got this in beige. This is a little powder I'm gonna be working with. I'm actually going to take this beauty blender that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a blender sponge by Sassy and Chic. It feels a little dense. It's not as like squishy as, I mean, it's squishy, but it's not as squishy as like regular beauty blenders. It puffed up really good. I mean, this isn't really picking up that much product. Now the part that I'm a little bit worried about, the foundation. This is in medium one and it's by Candy Moyo. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna do my makeup the same way I always do it. I'm not gonna switch it up. I always take my beauty sponge, wipe it off my hand and then go to town. It doesn't smell that good, but I mean, it's foundation. I shouldn't be expecting it to smell good. The color isn't bad, but it's not really showing up as much as I would think it should. It's definitely not full coverage. Let's try adding another layer and see if we can build it up. I don't color correct anymore, I used to, so I didn't get any color correctors. It's not terrible. It doesn't feel like I have any product on. <laughs> Let's move on. Next, we have Conceal Correct by LA Colors, and I got it in the color yellow. They really didn't have too many options, so this was the closest one. Cute, simple. Now let's get into this contour stick. I got it in a medium because that was the only color they had. It's by LA Colors and it's just a little contour stick. You get a lot of product. That's a decent amount. Hopefully this goes well. Honestly, like, it doesn't look bad at all. Bruh, am I about to switch over to Dollar Tree makeup? <laughs> I'm gonna just go back in with the same powder that I used earlier. Now this powder isn't that great. Like it doesn't behave the way other powders usually. Like I feel like I gotta really rub in here to get product out. Maybe I'm not supposed to use a wet beauty blender in here. Maybe I'm the problem. Oh! I messed up, I messed up. I'm so used to using powder blushes that I completely forgot to put on the blush. I got this multi-use stick, which can be used for blush. Uh, again, by LA Colors in the color pink satin. This is what she looks like, a little flimsy, but not too bad. Okay, you get a decent amount. Just like the contour stick, you get a decent amount. 
She's on there. Hopefully it blends out, even though I had the powder. She blushed in, but not really. What's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next? Let's do the highlighter. Instantly Radiant Highlighter Brightens the Skin, and this is by LA Colors in the color Glow Time. This is what it's looking like. It's so cute and flat. That is actually really pretty. This is the eyeshadow switching sponge. Get a decent amount on there. Is it glowing? Oh, I might've put on too much. <laughs> Next, I need to do my eyebrows. Again, LA Colors, and this is in medium. Brow pencil defines and fills. She comes nice and sharp. Standard pencil, <laughs> nothing too crazy. Who knows, I might have to get Justin to take me out in some Dollar Tree makeup if I'm looking cute. If it turns out looking cute, Justin gonna have to take me out for some Yogli Mowgli. That actually worked really well. I might have to keep her. Okay, they look good. This actually worked really well. Next, we are gonna do a cute little eyeshadow look. This is again, LA Colors, three color eyeshadow, and this is Desert Rose. Ooh, those shimmers are pretty. Those shimmers look very, 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 very pretty. I'm just gonna do very simple. I'm just gonna do like this as my transition, this over my lid, and this in my inner corner. Ooh. Wow, you see how pigmented that is? That is showing up. Like, let me put it in the light. Okay, okay. It looks good. I'm gonna just go in with my finger. It feels really smooth. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at that, that's pretty. Go right over my eyelid with this color. Oh, wow. Bruh, I'm keeping this palette. As long as it doesn't break my face out, I'm gonna add this to my little my little stash. Don't nobody gotta know I got on Dollar Tree makeup. They just gonna see how pretty the colors are and call it a day. Okay, they're not gonna see Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree ain't gonna be written all over my face. It's gonna be on my face, but it's not gonna be written on my face. It does have a little bit of fallout, just a little bit. So just be careful with that. Now I'm gonna go in and do my inner corner highlights. It's pretty. Next, we're gonna go into the eyeliner. Again, LA Colors. I haven't used liquid eyeliner in so long. This is what she looks like outside of her packaging. Okay, it looks, it looks good. It's lining the eyes, it's keeping the eyes in line. I don't have their setting spray. Cause like I said, I completely spaced on getting the setting spray. So I'm just gonna use the NYX. It don't look, it don't look too bad. Actually, it's a look. She's actually looking really cute. Next, we're gonna go in with the Lengthening Mascara by LA Colors. This is the mascara. This is what the wand is looking like, okay. I don't really have a preference for like how the wand looks. Just make my eyelashes look good. That's all I ask. It does get really clumpy and sticky. I'm gonna use this to line my lips. All right, not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but then again, it's not a lip pencil. We have the Lipstick Hydrating Creamy Finish Lipstick in the color Big Deal by LA Colors. There she is. Ooh, I actually like this. I like how this is like metallic-y. I like that, that's cute. Okay, so it's like almost like a deluxe mini size. Now, if it looks crusty and dusty, that's not the lipstick's fault. It's mine for having crusty, dusty lips. It feels fine, it's not sticky. My crusties are showing, but I figured as much. My thoughts, the items that I really, really liked, definitely the eyeshadow palette. This is cute. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna add this to my little eyeshadow palette collection. You are gonna definitely see these colors again. The eyeliner doing what it's supposed to do. It's lining the eyes. I'll probably keep using the eyeliner. The eyeliner's good. This brow pencil, I might not use it on my lips because it really didn't show up too much on my lips, but I will definitely use this on my eyebrows because it, it worked really well. Well, obviously I'm keeping the color switch. The products that I actually really liked were these three. <laughs> Out of all of that stuff, these three products I would actually use and keep using. This is the look. The makeup itself just is more of a dewy look than what I like. It doesn't really cover much. It's not full coverage. As you can see, you can still see all my little dark spots. Ooh, okay. 
I like the way that sun is hitting. So are you guys gonna get into this? Are you guys gonna get you some, some Dollar Tree makeup? As long as it don't break my face out, I'm fine. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe and become a Fae Bay. I will see y'all with the next one. Insert a little wear test. And then after the wear test, I'll see y'all with the next one. Hey y'all, it's like maybe an hour later and I look so greasy. This is so oily slick and it is honestly making my skin crawl. It feels itchy and disgusting. I was gonna try to wear this for at least six hours to give it a wear test. I will not be wearing this for no damn six hours if this is what's happening after one. I look like I'm covered in Vaseline. I mean, it's pretty, I look dewy, but it does not feel pretty. Okay, it does not feel dewy, it feels oily. I feel like I'm drenched in Vaseline. The lips aren't that bad. They actually look better now. The foundation is not good. It's just, it's not good. I already have skin issues. I don't want to add more to it. I'm going to go ahead and wash this stuff off. I thought I was going to do the six hour test, but uh, no. Oh, baby's calling. Gotta go. <laughs>